friends. It is like 6.15 on Sunday morning and I am just getting up and getting moving today. I'm actually going to run really quickly into work this morning because I want to drop something off. Literally like a five minute thing. And then I'm gonna come home and get ready and Steven and I are going to look at a house today. Uh, I'm gonna take you on those adventures. We think this one has a lot of potential. It's an area we really like. So I'm gonna try to take you on that adventure. Like I said, we are in no rush, but if the right one comes along, we're going to snag it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. It was so nice to have Steven here last night. I don't think like sometimes I realize how much I miss him until he's home, so but I know I miss them. But that's what's up. I'm making some coffee to take with me. I'm literally going to do this in like less than 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, but I want it there, so I don't have to think about it tomorrow or get there earlier to take care of it. So, all right, I'm gonna get my coffee made and then get out of here. It is 7.30 and I am already back. That's how fast it was. Um, I just wanted to set something up. I had to get home, so home. Steven is still asleep. He's probably exhausted. He like literally flew across the country yesterday. Um, so we are back from looking at the house. We actually went and drove and looked at a couple others and then we're gonna go out again next weekend and look at a few. We really liked it. It was beautiful. Um, the price tag is quite hefty. So we wanna make sure we're making a really good decision. And I think we, Loved it until we walked up to the second floor and saw the primary bedroom. The primary bathroom did not have double vanity, which is important to us, which sounds silly. And the closet wouldn't have fit my clothes. Now, the option would be there was a bedroom, like a bedroom directly next to it that you could blow out and make a larger primary suite. But I mean, that would be a couple years from now, a huge undertaking. It was really pretty. It had, the, the main living floor was also really nice. I think Steven didn't love that there wasn't a kitchen island to sit at. You would have to like sit in the dining room, which once again, not a huge ordeal. Uh, right with that house, you're absolutely paying for the location. But they did a beautiful job renovating it. A couple things that we also, I'm sorry, I'm also just finished editing yesterday's video. A couple other things that we were really thinking about is, um, do we want traditional with a modern twist? Do we want something more contemporary and modern? So there is one relatively in the same neighborhood, I mean, it would be like a two minute drive. I don't think it's considered Myers Park, but um, which is the neighborhood we just looked in. It's the neighborhood we used to live in. We love it, but I wonder what that neighborhood is considered. Let me see. I'm gonna just, I'm now curious what this other street is considered. And then we went up to a few in Plaza Midwood, and then we looked at one, we looked at one in Plaza Midwood, and what was the other one we looked at? I can't remember now. What neighborhood is this considered? Why can't I find the neighborhood listing? It usually says like, right. Oh, because I have to go to the show more. It's considered ch the Cherry neighborhood, which I think is right next to Myers Park. I'm trying to look. Anyway, we are going to go look at a handful to next weekend. I didn't get a lot of good footage. If I have any good footage, I will go ahead and insert it. But I was holding my phone and was more focused on like really looking at the house. And then we drove around and looked at a few others that were really nice, but I mean, we'll see. 
Like I said, we're in no hurry. We're very happy where we are. Steven actually came home after we drove and looked at a few others. He goes, this makes me appreciate our house a little bit more. And I said, I agree. Um, but if the right thing comes along, we are definitely interested. All right, I hear them back from their walk, actually. Did you just go for a walk with daddy? You missed him. You had some alone time. Oh, had some alone time with daddy. Oh, you went swimming. I could tell by those curls. I could tell by those curls you went swimming. Did you go swimming with daddy? Dude, where's daddy at? He's downstairs. Daddy's downstairs. I also thought in this video that I would share a couple ideas I'm thinking as far as Christmas decor. I am, this is the first time I thought I came in with a theme, but I might want to change it and I'm going to ask for your feedback. So I will show you a couple of my inspo pictures a little later. So I don't want to be accused of only ever <laughs> showing you the great moments. I just knocked a jar of salsa out of the fridge. <laughs> and it landed perfectly to shatter and shoot everywhere. So, there we go. I am making one of my favorite soups. So in my Dutch oven, I have some Italian sausage going. that go until it gets pretty good and brown and then I'm getting this shallot was pretty large so I just might let it be and I'm cutting up two potatoes into pretty fine pieces not too because if I cut them a little thinner, they'll cook faster. Once my sausage crisps, crisps up, I'm going to add my onion and garlic. This sausage was also leaner than usual. There's like really no grease. I am gonna put a paper towel at the end of my spatula and absorb any excess grease that doesn't need to be there but it really didn't look that bad. So the main vegetables in this soup are potatoes and kale, and then we'll do some chicken stock and some cream at the end. And it'll be delicious. Since that sausage is pretty brown and crispy, I'm gonna add an onion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some minced garlic. So just gonna let this go until the onions start to get transparent, but like look, there's really no excess grease from the sausage. I did turn my heat down. I want to get a really good crisp on this, or normally I might pull out my sausage. So I'm just going to let it keep going. Alright, my onion is pretty translucent, so I'm going to go ahead and add my two potatoes in. Oh, that looks like a lot of potatoes. I might have been able to get away the flesh potatoes. I'm also going to add a little palmful of Italian seasoning. And now I'm going to add my chicken stock. Cook this on medium for about 20 minutes until my uh, potatoes start to get tender. And then once my potatoes are tender, I will add in the kale and wilt that down. So then we'll add the cream and the finishing touches. 
And what I'm doing with my kale is I'm just gonna take it off the stem and then I'll give it a good rinse and then a good chop. So I just wanna get that really tough woody stem. We're just gonna let this go until the potatoes are tender and then we'll add the kale and then we'll hit it with some heavy cream and a little red chili flake and make sure that heats all through and then we'll be done. All right, friends, my soup has been going. My potatoes are pretty tender. I tried to find like the biggest pieces and um, Alexa off. And now I'm just going to add my kale in. I know this looks like so much, do not worry. So, I'm going to add that in. And the first thing I'm going to do is just push it down so it submerges a little bit into the liquid. And then I'm going to cover this and let it go for about five. Look at that, it's already wilted down that much. So I'm gonna cover this and let it go for five minutes. All right, so that cream and the crusher pepper now have, that cream has a time to come up to temp now. So, I'm just gonna let this go for just a minute or two longer and then we'll serve it up. It looks really good though. Mm. You could also sub out the um, cream for coconut milk. That would have been really good too. I just didn't have any on me, so. This was a little easier. How is it? I can't. You it's like good. it? Mm -hmm. It's like a make again soup? Definitely, and I really don't. Creamy soups are okay, but. It's also not overly no, it's creamy. Not, it's not overly creamy, but I like the texture and the the, the kale is good. The kale and the, the sausage and the potatoes, I think it's really good. And yeah. it's like, it's a good sort of like um, fall or winter soup. Yay! Yeah. It was a success. You heard it from Steven. The soup is a hit. Highly encourage you making it. I'm gonna do some editing and then I'm gonna go enjoy mine. So take care of yourself, take care of others. Be kind, kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.